Hey, what's up guys? Mint City here back again with another video and some crazy hair. Now I am gonna be answering your guys' questions once again. And to anyone who is new, uh, I actually answer any questions that you guys leave in the comment sections of my YouTube videos, or if you message me over social media, which that is the main way I get a lot of these questions. Uh, the links to my social medias are in the description down below. And I try to answer them in video format on this channel once every two to three weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's get right into it. Now, this is actually a question that I've been asked since the beginning of my YouTube channel, and I've always answered people individually, but I kind of want to make a video to refer them to that and make the process a little bit quicker and easier for them as well. Now, everyone asks how I make my YouTube videos and what programs I use, what equipment I use and stuff like that. And uh, to be completely honest, uh, every video on this channel that you've ever seen has been made from an iPhone and an iPad. And a majority of my recent content in the past few years have been made from an iPhone XR and an iPad mini fifth generation. Now I use my iPhone XR to usually make my thumbnails and an app named PixArt. And so I had to teach myself how to use that and teach myself how to photo edit. And that's how I make my thumbnails. My thumbnails still could use some work, but I feel like they've gotten to a decent um, degree of quality. Hopefully, uh, let me know, and I want your guys' feedback on all of this in the description down below, or I mean in the comment section down below. Now that's what I use uh, to edit my thumbnails, and that is on my iPhone XR. Now I also use iMovie to edit my videos, and so that's what I use to edit all the video clips and my voice clips and stuff. So I had to teach myself how to use iMovie. iMovie is a pretty simple editing program, but there are some little intricacies that you have to figure out and some little issues that you have to overcome. And so I've taught myself and I'm still getting better with that too. And then uh, I record my voice that you hear on, iPhone, on my iPhone XR with voice memos. So voice memos is an app and it's basically just is a thing that records your audio. And so I import that into iMovie and that's how I make my videos. That's literally it. I've used nothing but an iPhone and an iPad. I've never touched a computer for any of my uh, YouTube videos at all. Um, and if it's a stream clip, because I did get a bunch of streaming equipment from Elgato for free. So I have a PC I can stream and I could edit and make my videos on that, but I have no clue where to start. I don't know what programs to use. I don't know anything. Uh, I do have a stream mic now that I can use to record my voice, and I do that for my Let's Plays primarily. Um, but with the stream clips even, I screen record my stream. So I fast forward to whatever part of my screen, stream that I want to clip for a video, because I've recently been including a few of my live streams because I find them entertaining and it helps me be able to output content for you guys to enjoy, even when I may not have a video ready. And uh, I just screen record that and I clip it and then I put it in iMovie and I export it to YouTube. So that's literally it. And that brings me to another point that I wanna make in this video is that anyone can make content on YouTube nowadays. All you need is a phone, that's literally it. And so I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers pretty soon off of just using a phone. And I didn't even have an iPad for a while too. And I forgot to explain. My iPad is what I use to film my face cam when I'm doing Let's Plays, or if I'm filming anything to do with a face cam, my iPad is what I use because it has a better camera than my iPhone XR. So that's what I do. Anyways, back to what I was saying. If you have a phone, you can make a YouTube channel and you can start creating content and start getting supporters and viewers and people who appreciate the content for what it is. You don't need a lot of fancy stuff. Um, obviously, um, I, haven't had the greatest quality or whatever, and I could increase the quality and I'm still trying to. I just feel like everything is a process and I'm slowly teaching myself how to get better with making thumbnails and slowly get better at structuring my videos. And you guys see me and luckily you guys appreciate my content and appreciate what I make enough to where I have freedom of what I do. I cover a multitude of different games and I rarely cover a, the same game twice. And not a lot of people can do that and have a loyal following follow them from video to video to video. And if I covered one game, I could easily grow quicker and have more views and all of that jazz. But I feel like that's an easy way of getting burnt out and this becoming a chore. And I like just 
creatively exploring and creating content um, of different games, different things. And I appreciate that you guys have given me the freedom to do that. And we're still about to hit a thousand subscribers from covering literally all kinds of random games, different types of videos, different styles. And I really appreciate that about this channel and this little community that we have on YouTube. So thank you so much. Hopefully that wasn't too much of a ramble and super random, but yeah. So if you've ever debated on doing a YouTube video or creating a YouTube channel and pursuing that, do it. If you have a phone, you have no excuse. And if you guys want tutorials on everything that I do and everything that I've learned to this point, I can make those too for you guys because I feel like YouTube is such a cool hobby to have and it's so much fun and it really uh, staves off depression and uh, all of the negativities that we may encounter in life. So um, there's the spiel. I hope you guys appreciated this random ramble and I love you guys. Um, all the socials in the description. I stream mobile games. Come check it out. I'm really excited about that. We have a, a loyal core group of viewers that will watch the YouTube. I mean the the YouTube, but they haven't transferred over to Twitch, which I don't blame them. Do you guys want to see me stream on YouTube instead? That's another question. Uh, hopefully I can get your guys' um, feedback on anything that I've said in this video in the comment section down below. Would you guys be interested in me streaming to YouTube instead of Twitch? Uh, that's a legitimate thing that I'm debating and I want your guys' input. But anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.